How to package and protect your books for shipping. Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jesse here with JLS Commerce. Welcome back to another in my series of how-to videos. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to uh, protect your books and uh, prepare them for shipping. Um, so that's very important, you know, being a buying and selling sort of a hobby. Um, that's something that I think more than um, more of us will do than not. So um, definitely uh, warrant uh, talking about and I'll show you basically how I do it and hopefully pass some good tips along to you. Um, if you like these how-to videos, um, make sure you hit subscribe, stick around. I got some cool things coming up. It is uh, convention season, so the next uh, probably series of videos, probably all through April, are going to be uh, about convention prep and uh, convention-related uh, how-tos, how to best prepare for it, uh, proper etiquette there, um, cosplay, things like that. So stick around for that. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's talk about how to package. All right, so first we have a comic book. Here I happen to have uh, Batman number 50. This just happened to come out recently. Um, you know, when you're going to be shipping, there's a couple things you're going to be protecting from. One of them is going to be the elements. So we're talking rain, snow, uh, sun even, um, wind, um, whatever other type of acts of nature might come up in your area. And then the other one is going to be uh, the actual um, logistics, uh, the post office, the, 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 the shipper. Um, they may be kicking the box or throwing the box or bending the, the, the packaging. Um, you know, they don't know what's in here and they don't care for it as much as we do. So, And they're on a, a schedule, so they go through things quickly. Um, boxes get tossed, damaged, beaten. So we got to protect against those things. So the first thing is uh, the elements, right? So we got to... Um, do as we always do. And the first step would be to bag and board. If you're selling to somebody, um, it's just, you know, sort of a courtesy almost to give it a, a fresh bag, a fresh board. Um, really another thing that you're protecting from, not only you're protecting the book, but you're protecting yourself. Um, you're advertising whatever you're selling as a, a certain uh, condition or a certain uh, state. And you want it to arrive to them in, in that very same state that you advertise and that they're expecting it to be in. Um, Again, it's a respect thing. You would want that for your books. And also, um, you know, it protects you against um, getting, um, you know, they'll file a claim. You may have to get the book back. You may have to give them part of the money back. You'll end up losing money on it. So not only are you protecting the book by doing this, but you're protecting yourself. All right. So like I said, first thing, uh, skin and bone, bag and board it, right? Um, and then that uh, protects it from the water that might get on it for whatever reason um, and then what you want to do is there's a couple different ways to do it if you're mailing one individually you can do it like this um, the same principles apply if you have a stack of books so if you have 10 of them if you have 20 50 um, make sure they're all wrapped you can um, there's magazine um, holders that actually hold more than one of the books um, in one so it makes it a little bit easier so the next thing you want to do is well, first, don't use anything flimsy. See how this is kind of flimsy? Um, you don't really want to use anything like that. You want it to have, it's got the, the, the board on the back, but you want it to be really stiff and sturdy in that shipper. So this, no. This, on the other hand, is good. See, it's thick. This actually came from uh, the post office. You can pick these up for free. They have all these free boxes and stuff. And you cut it um, sort of to shape, okay? Um, to be you want it to be not the same size as the comic book you actually want it to be a little bit bigger because that's going to protect the edges um okay and it's not going to slide around and i'll tell you why in a second so you actually you don't want one you want two uh, your comic book is going to be uh the ham on the ham sandwich so to speak and then this is your your uh, your bread here this is what you wrap it in now this one i happen to as a little cost saving measure when i get things in the mail i do like to save things that other people sent me and somebody did something that i thought was a pretty good idea so i wanted to share it pass this along to you um they actually took one of the the bat the bags that you can get at the post office and taped that to the inside of this and made it almost like a little sleeve right so then you take the comic book this is taped down. You can see it's very well taped down. You take the comic book and you slide it right in there. Okay. 
and then look fold it over like a book and then you want to tape down that top part and then you tape down to see there's tape here sort of you tape down on the sides and it won't slide around um, if you don't want to do the the little slip inside uh, you don't have to but what you'll want to do is tape the comic book itself down on the the wrapping to the inside of this so it doesn't slide around but as you can see here it actually creates a cool thing so it can just slide right out right and it's easy to access now that would be good for just one or two books um, if you have a lot more maybe just putting them in those magazine bags and then taping that down is um, ideal and then that's pretty much it it's it's ready to go um, you can either use um, the envelopes they have these they're like thin um, there's a company called dynamic forces that actually uses these really um, hard stiff uh, bags uh, what are they called jiffy jiffy riggy bag mailer see right there jiffy riggy bag okay and um, I, I haven't ever, ever gotten anything damaged from them there is another company called midtown and they have these cool mailers here and if you take off your um, information you can actually reuse these if you're sending out a bundle of books it has like a little a little sleeve inside as you can see in fact I might be able to no I can't but that slips right in there see how it fits in not like that but that's where the, the sleeve is where you would put the books so that's it nice and easy um, just make sure you're protecting your book make sure you're protecting yourself um, you're delivering as your thing was advertised and um, you shouldn't have any issues at that point um, let me know what you think down below if you have any cool tips to share as well any other little sort of um, you know shipping life hacks you want to share um, that would be really cool um, and i um, looking forward to that um, you know likes um, dislikes if you want but um, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say and I, like I said stick around because I got some cool um, stuff coming up in the future here uh, well not in the future next month um, you know around some convention stuff so um, there you have it uh, this is Jesse with JLS Comics and I will see you guys soon